Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Welcome to the correct views. It doesn't matter which order you get them in. It's the massive Fukushima update in progress. It's being done in four separate videos, and it will be listed as such because we are now on Opera News. It's true. Um, check this out. American military news. No, no, nothing says friendship and prosperity like glamorizing nuclear war. Nothing says go ahead and keep sending us all of your business. Let us handle your cheap labor here at China. Trust us to make components for your computers and for your weapons and for your defense systems. Feel free to allow us to make your cell phones and everything. And meanwhile, we're going to talk about nuking Japan. And we're going to talk about what it would do if maybe, you know, America got involved. Oh, but keep sending us things. It's a good idea. By the way, we're thinking about nuking someone. American military news. Video Chinese officials shared video threatening to nuke Japan. Report right there on fact cam. Chinese Communist Party officials reportedly shared a viral video last week threatening a nuclear attack on Japan if the country interferes against Chinese attempts to seize control of Taiwan. Now, it was, it was originally China which had agreed to the terms to which Taiwan has the liberty that it has enjoyed to whatever extent it has enjoyed liberty. What China did was fed off of greed. Greed. Plain and simple. They fed not just America. America's bad. Okay, America didn't make the wisest decision in the story that I'm relating to you here. But it wasn't America bad. It was most of civilization bad. When the average person had swimming pools, two cars, and only one person was working, a lot of the people who were already, already very, very rich decided to become richer by sending America's jobs overseas. It's gotten to the point now where the military does it. And there are some systems which have been reported to have been very much compromised due to this, to such an extent that why can't even be sold here, which is the Chinese company responsible for a lot of the grief, which uh, I'm talking about here. Cer certainly not exclusively, but a lot of it. <clears throat> China said, okay, we're going to let you take whatever from Taiwan, and we'll give Hong Kong some, some peace. And then what they did is they took their own people, who they didn't care about, America bad. China took their own people who they did not care about. The beautiful Chinese who the left likes to worship. Con communism is so good. The Chinese took their own people who they didn't care a rat's ass about and had them making our cell phones and our computers. Suddenly the people who were rich became richer because instead of paying a good wage to an American worker, they literally could exploit somebody for a dollar a day or something in China. Get it made in China. Get it sent back. Even with shipping, it's a lot less than making sure that the average American has a good life. And people are like, well, Sam, you're so mean and hateful. Don't you care about China? What, you mean to tell me the average life of the, the, the Chinese person and a dollar a day? You're in favor of that? You think he's got a good life? Even with the exchange difference, I guarantee you can't buy that much for a dollar in yen. Even when you transfer it over to a dollar, it's not going to happen. This is what we did. And now, China has amassed so much money and power, in part because they're not paying their people for any of this deal that happened, because that's how Chinese governments work. But hey, let's face it, you guys like communism, right? So you go ahead and... Uh, Take everybody's everything, France, Germany, everybody's getting their crap made in China. And now China puts the hammer down on Taiwan. What are we going to do? 
we got our own factory. We'd have to make all of our factories again. Now we don't make any of these things. So we don't make the camera or the phone I'm talking into. We don't make the TV that's behind me. We don't make the computer that's giving me this information to relay to you. The cables that hook it up. None of it. What are we going to do? This is the position that we put ourselves in. And now they're releasing videos. Both Newsweek and Taiwan, it says, <coughs> and Taiwan News, excuse me, reported that the Baoji Municipal Committee, that's B-A-O-J-I, of the CCP reposted a video of China's YouTube-like platform, <coughs> Ixua, Z Zizhua, Z -I X -I -G -U -A, in which the narrator states, we, when we liberate Taiwan, if Japan dares interfere by force, even if it only sends one soldier, one plane, or one ship, we will not only return fire, but also strike a full-scale war against Japan. First, we will use combat bombs. We will continue to use nuclear bombs until Japan offers its second unconditional surrender. Second unconditional surrender. The first time was when they were nuked by the United States. That's another reference. To nuclear war. The Chinese video was uploaded by, with English subtitles by Chinese-born rights activist <clears throat> Jennifer Zeng, who tweeted, hashtag CCP vows to nuke Japan if Japan defends Taiwan. As Japan is the only country that has ever been nuked, so nuking Japan will get it twice, the result with half the effort. Get that. Nuking Japan will get twice the result with half the effort because they've already been pretty juiced. The C and not to mention Fukushima. The CCP's, which, by the way, Fukushima, infinitely more radiation into the atmosphere than from both of the bombs. That's fact. The CCP's military channel threatened to carry out continuous nuclear strikes on Japan until Japan's second unconditional surrender. When we strike Japan's capacity to endure war, the video's narrator states, as soon as Japan recognizes that it cannot afford to pay the price of war, it will not dare send troops to the Taiwan Strait. The trouble is Japan is also uh, an ally of the U.S., and I'm pretty sure that even though they're not supposed to have nuclear weapons, <clears throat> whispers have certainly been that they do. I want to I'm going to play the video as, in as much time as we have left, and I want to quickly, quickly, quickly spit out here that it's not capitalism, by the way, that led to the rise of the Chinese. It was outsourcing. Donald Trump, and if you don't like Trump, and I do, if you don't like Trump, there's other people who feel this way. Uh, Rand Paul, I believe, uh, I'm not sure on that one, but stop outsourcing. The problem was not capitalism. The problem was outsourcing. All right, friends, listen, here we go. I'm going to play this for the minute. We can in the Taiwan, if Japan is willing to do the same thing, even if a force of one army, one force, one force, one force, one force, one force, we are not the threat of the threat, but we are the threat of the threat. We are the threat of the threat, the threat of the threat, the threat of the threat, until Japan is the first time to announce the threat. We are the threat of Japan's defense power. If Japan understands that the threat is not the threat of the threat, they will not be able to go to the air force and the air force. 我国在一九六四年第一颗原子弹爆炸成功时，对全世界承诺，不对非核国家使用原子弹，不首先使用原子弹。尽管时间过去了近六十年，我国的核威慑强度也受到一些影响，但这一决策依然是成功的，保障了我国的和平建设。现在国际形势大变，我国正处于百年未有之大变局之中，一切政略、战略和策略。都要在大变局中做出调整和改变。为了保障我国的和平崛起，有必要对核政策做有限的调整。我们郑重提出日本例外论。日本在。It goes on from there. That's the important part, and I do have to wrap this up. You can see the rest of it, of course, in American military news. It's called Chinese officials shared video threatening to nuke Japan report. Thank you, friends, for listening. Hit share, hit subscribe. Good night, and God bless.